Welcome to the Weekly Planet's Caravan of Garbage, the show where we discuss a comic or a book or a movie or something like that that might not be so great, but maybe it's really great, but it's not, generally. Today, <laughs> Ma today Mason, yes, we're talking Justice League of America, 1997, CBS tally movie. Great. Like, normally I'm like, oh, there's some redeeming qualities, you know, in, in whatever, but this is like so bad it makes you question why anybody kind of makes anything and what's the point does it seem do, do you watch it and you're like did they do this for some complicated legal reason like for copyright or did they lose a dare it's incredibly ill-informed for so many reasons uh -huh. and partly because they just get the characters wrong from the get-go now let me just say straight up there's no superman there's no batman why would there be the best two best characters <laughs> and sure other characters have their merits. Every Everybody's character is somebody's favourite character, but you know what? Shut up. Let me give you one that definitely doesn't have any merit, in this show at least. I'm, mm. I'm a bit of a fan of this character, Guy Gardner's Green Lantern. Good That's pick. the version they went <laughs> with. Now, he doesn't have red hair. He uh -huh. doesn't have a bowl cut. He Two just strikes. looks like regular, I don't know, like a Hal Jordan-ish okay. Green Lantern. The other thing is, he has like definitively one of the shittiest costumes I've ever seen. It's like this faux leather, sleeveless, like, flight jacket. Uh -huh. And it's just... And it's, like, horrible... It's a horrible green colour. Uh -huh. And it's just over, like, a black spandex. And he's got, like, white leather gauntlet gloves. It's just horrendous. Green Lantern's costume, where does it come from? His ring. It's a construct, right? Yeah, uh -huh. From his mind and the ring uh -huh. manifests it. It's just a costume he can't... You see him stuffing it into a backpack at one point. <laughs> right. It's just, I, don't, I don't understand it at all. <laughs> so his character arc is his girlfriend hates him. Yep. Can't really argue with that. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we've got Ray Palmer. As yeah. the Atom, mm -hmm. he's a nerd. He's just a standard nerd. Uh -huh. There's nothing really appealing about him. Everybody on this team does seem kind of like a nerd. <laughs> sure. <laughs> he also has one of the shittiest costumes I've ever seen. It's like a red leather gridiron outfit, just yep. like the top bit. He's got some high pants red leggings. <laughs> That's seems. right. Yeah. And again, it's just kind of over like a blue spand or a spandex. Oh, we got Fire. Um, her costume is terrible. But it's not as terrible because uh -huh. it's pretty much just the spandex. There's no weird leather on it, so uh -huh. it, it, it's not good. But like comparatively, <laughs> it's it's better. And her subplot is uh, David Crumholtz is following her around like a weird creep and hitting on her. Mm -hmm. So I think he's 20 uh -huh. and she's like 30, 35. Uh -huh. uh, we got Ice. Yep. You know, fire. Well, we and couldn't ice. have fire without Ice. Correct. She's the newest member that member of the team. She works at like a science laboratory for weather. Ugh. Also, she has Guy Gardner's bowl cut. So I guess they couldn't give her <laughs> both bowl cuts. Mm -hmm. So that's yeah, how that goes. Yeah. Uh, we've got Barry Allen as the Flash. Mm -hmm. Or Barry Allen's the Flash. Sure. Uh, job status, unemployed. Oh He's... What? Yeah. <laughs> He's that's, the, that's the one guy whose job I know. He's a I, forensic scientist. I know, but he is also the definitively worst character in this on every level. Uh -huh. Like, he's just unpleasant, he's dumb, he's obnoxious, he's just a terrible bloke. And he's got a running joke about, I'm just an idiot who can't keep a job because I'm such an idiot. And that, that's, his, that's his kind of thing, his, his MO. <laughs> mm -hmm. And the last member who I'll get to in a bit, maybe I'll keep it secret till later, but let me tell you, it's a Justice League classic. Mm -hmm. let's, let's get to it later. Okay, sure. <laughs> sure. Okay, so one of the weirdest things about this is they all live together in the same apartment, except for Ice, who's not a member of the team Not in, a, not in a, like a secret, like a moon base. They have an underwater base, uh -huh. but they live in just like a suburban apartment. Friends. It's kind of like Friends, uh -huh. but it's also shot documentary style. So we're following this story as it unfolds. And then it will cut to like Barry Allen being interviewed and he's like, I'm just a dude who loves football and bowling and hanging out and being cool or whatever. I had, I had no idea this was part of that. What? Yeah, yeah, really? It's, yeah, it's like it's, The Office. It's like The Office. So look, it's a bold kind of storytelling device. It does not work on any level. Great. It, it, it just falls flat every time. The villain is the Weather Wizard. Sure. Who they've kind of turned into quite the formidable fo formidable foe in The Flash. Yes. But he is, it's not that at all. So every now and then, like, during the... Oh, I guess it's a movie. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. I guess you, you, technically it is. Was it intended to be a, like a, a two-hour yeah, pilot, pilot for it's a, a TV pilot. series? Exactly. This actually never aired in the US. Good. So every now and then, Weather Wizard will appear on this poorly composited 
TV screen and he'll just be like, give me $20 million. So uh-huh. he'll send like a hurricane and then the Flash does a thing where he runs around and it goes away. And then he sends a hailstorm and fire like melts it. They're just kind of like, what is this? Who is yeah. it? Like, it's not really a threat. Nobody in the city seems bothered by it. They seem like... They seem like the superhero equivalent of garbage men. <laughs> That's like, right. Oh, all right, God, it's okay. It's hailstones. Okay, use your fire. It's fine. So the weatherman is clearly uh, Ice's boss, who works at the Weather Science Institute. Uh huh. Like very clearly, they try to be like, well, maybe it's this guy or whatever, but it's it's clearly just the boss. Uh huh. Right. What she does, she discovers his weather manipulating briefcase, but she opens it and then spills water on it, and then she gets ice powers that she can't control. But it's kind of oh. thing where she'll touch something. And then, like, she'll leave, and then it will freeze. It sounds a little bit like the singing frog yes. that only sings <laughs> when, it, when he's alone. Exactly. So she's walking home from work, and a guy who's rollerblading on grass falls past her and goes into the lake. And he's like, I uh, remember rollerblading and grass. <laughs> two right. things from 1997. Ah, <laughs> oh, great. Goes, he goes into the lake. He's like, oh, I can't swim or whatever. So she steps in to help him and accidentally freezes the lake. So the Justice League see this, and they kidnap Ice because they think she's the weather wizard. But what they do, they just put one of those surgical gas masks on her. A kidnapping mask, a kidnapping sure, yeah. Mask. Uh-huh. yeah. But they have to let her go because... That's illegal. That's illegal, <laughs> That's illegal, obviously. So then she goes to the top of her building at work and she sees her boss. He's got a giant 90s industrial grade video camera attached uh-huh. to a belt pointing yeah. to him when he's <laughs> making demands as the weather wizard. That sounds like a recipe for falling off a building, <laughs> if you ask right. me. But look, I know... I shouldn't be too hard on these special effects because... Nah, do it. Okay, some of the worst stuff is like the compositing shots of when Ray Palmer shrinks. Uh Uh-huh. It's clearly like a man on a green screen and they just kind of slap him on top of wherever he needs to be. There's a bit where he runs into a drain and saves a cat. But the worst one is easily when they infiltrate the science museum party for the science Mm. expo or whatever. He's looking for information and he comes to an open door, but it's got lasers across it. So he shrinks, and then he, there's like 30 seconds where he just limbos under the bottom one. <laughs> just back and forth. It, maybe it's not 30 seconds, but it feels really long. Uh-huh. And that's the thing, like, every joke in this falls flat. There Great. is not, not a half-decent one among the many, many jokes that, that unfold. What, do I look like I'm from the Institute? No, I'm actually a, a visiting scientist. Yeah, archaeopologist. So, meanwhile, David Krumholtz is uh, is just following fire around. Mm-hmm. And he, like, he can't take the hint. She's like, seriously, can you just fuck off? And he's <laughs> like, nah, here's some earrings I bought from Paris once for a very special lady, and that's you, or whatever. And she's like, okay, thanks, or whatever. So she puts them on. That comes back into play later. What they do, they take, then they grab ice, and they're like, listen, you seem like a, like a cool 90s chick. Mm-hmm. We're going to take you to our underwater base, and we're going to introduce you to our leader. Willingly this time. Willingly this time. <laughs> Oh, the horses, this is exciting, but do you know what else is exciting? Ads, we're going to do one, but we'll be back, don't worry. <laughs> this series of Caravan of Garbage is brought to you by Loot Crate, the monthly geek and subscriber box where you get a bunch of stuff. How much do you want? Probably six to eight, that's what's in it. Mason, I'm going to recommend a special one for you. Is it Loot Crate amphetamines? Because that seems <laughs> what you're on right now. <laughs> Loot Crate, uh, you know they do a variety of them, but this uh, they have ones called Partner Crates where they partner with certain brands and properties or whatever, oh. and you get something very specific. Uh, there's, there's the Halo Legendary Crate where you can join the Spartan Fire Team Apollo with the Legendary Halo Crate. It's me, Master Chef. <laughs> <laughs> from from hello. Uh, so you get five to seven exclusive collectibles from the biggest moments in the Halo universe, the Halo universe, oh. as I call it. You just open it up and you're just flooded with a weird with weird, weird bug race. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's right. So if you visit lootcrate.com/weeklyplanet, you can get three dollars off that or any other subscription. Just pick one, pick them all. You can start with one. Maybe you could then get a different one or just have one. It's up. Whatever. I don't know. Let's get back to it. Let's get on with it. We're going to uh, introduce introduce you to our leader, Martian Manhunter. Oh, twist. Played by the great David Ogden Steers, who I'm a big fan of. You know, mm. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a bloody love Mash, Mash. And I mm. bloody love David Ogden Steers. Mm. It's not the worst costume in the show. Yeah, the okay. Uh-huh. So, but critics said that they felt that Steers' weight affected his portrayal of the character. Mm-hmm. And at first I'm like, oh, he doesn't know. He looks all right. But then he turns side on and you're like, oh, dear. <laughs> Also, he doesn't do anything. 
Sure. But I'll get to that. In okay, a great. So Ice, they're trying to teach Ice how to use their power. And she's like, I can't. I wish I could, but I can't. I'm terrible at this. I wish I was a hero, but I can't. Or whatever. Crumholtz is still bloody at I it. I think she's going to learn a valuable lesson Maybe by she the will, end. Mason. Yep. So Crumholtz then sees the Justice League on TV and he recognizes his earrings on fire. Oh. So he goes to her and he's like, you're clearly fire because she doesn't wear a mask and also you look exactly like her. <laughs> yep. Uh-huh. And he's like, well, listen, the only way that you could prove that you're not is if fire walks through the door. And then Martian Manhunter shapeshifts. This is the one thing he does. Oh, yes. And he walks in and he's like, did somebody say fire? And she's like, <laughs> oh, that's right, because I'm friends with fire and I lent her the earrings that you gave me. Imagine if the characters on Friends had shapeshifting powers. <laughs> I know, right? How amazing would that have been? What if Ross could be Joey? Yeah. We were on a break, but then Joey transformed <laughs> into Gunther. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> so Weather Wizard mounts a final attack on the city. Oh. He starts by firing a laser into the Justice League's... That's not weather-based. <laughs> and so Green Lantern's like, we've got to get out of here. So mm-hmm. what he does, he, he physically grabs a... What's it called? A bloody crowbar. Uh-huh. And he goes to crowbar the door. Like, he doesn't make one. Uh-huh. So the Green so La- far, they haven't used a lot of their <laughs> superhuman superpowers. Well, you're about to see some, oh. Mason. Uh, Green Lantern. Green Lantern flies to meet the Weather Wizard. And what he does, he's just got, like, a green stick... And it's got like rotor blades on the top, oh. so he looks like Mary Poppins. He's not—he doesn't cover himself in like a green bubble, uh-huh. or even just make himself make a fly. green jet plane. Nah, huh. weird Mary Poppins umbrella. Huh. So he flies down. He's like, "Weather Wizard, I got you, bloody! Give it up! Give me the briefcase!" And the Weather Wizard's like, "What about this?" And he throws the <laughs> and he throws the briefcase just kind of down a a cliff. Oh, and, yeah. and Green Lantern's so like... So Green Lantern could make a big yeah. green hand and grab it, maybe? And it's not like into a waterfall or into a volcano. It's just kind of oh. down a bit. Or into a big yellow box yeah, that's that right. Green Lantern couldn't affect. Exactly. So Green Lantern's like... He calls the team and he's like, Nah, we're fucked. <laughs> like, I can't, <laughs> I can't do anything. Look, all I had was this Mary Poppins thing. That's, there's, that's right, because there's this giant tidal wave coming towards the city. Oh. Flash is trying to gather up all the kids. He's mm-hmm. trying to be useful and, and whatever, but... They can't, they can't stop the Do not trust the wave. Flash with, <laughs> with human life. <laughs> no. So what Ice does, she's like, this is my moment, I can do this. So she goes out and she she freezes the wave. Uh-huh. And then they're like, you bloody, you did it, you're a member of the team. Uh, this is That's it, basically. <laughs> Here's the costume. It's- that is never going to unfreeze, so don't <laughs> even worry about it. We'll just leave it, it's fine. They, so this is how it ends up. She gets a horrible costume. Nice. Green Lantern... Catches up with his old girlfriend and she's like, I still hate you or whatever because uh-huh. you're a bad bloke. Yep. Flash gets a job at the youth center because he guess he's pretty good at with kids. Because he didn't kill all those kids. He didn't kill yeah. all those kids or save Yet. them. <laughs> That's right. Uh, Fire doesn't end up dating Crumholtz. Oh. But then she's like, well, I'm off to meet Crumholtz because he wants me to intro- He wants me to meet his 16 year old year old cheerleader girlfriend. I'm like, huh. why is that happening? No, now I see why this got cancelled. <laughs> The Adam uh, continues being a lonely nerd and Martian Manhunter appears in a hologram and does nothing. He gets stuck in a doorframe. Nobody nobody at the time knew how to work with superhero stuff and great green screen and... No, certainly not. Green Mary Poppins <laughs> umbrellas, you know what I mean? They did the best they could with what they had. The thing is, I know it's TV and I know they never greenlit it, but it's just Quite bad. Green Lantern did. <laughs> it's bad and... Boring and stupid. <laughs> like, no one throws a punch. Yeah, it nice. sets up a whole lot of future events that I'm just glad never unfolded. Uh-huh. And you know what? Greenland suit looks kind of blue. Now that I think <laughs> about it, it's kind of a weird aqua shade. It should be green. In summary, yes, you don't, you don't, you don't need, you don't need this in your life. Maybe watch the trailer. It's well over an hour as well. It's maybe an hour and twenty. That's like there's some length to it, Mason, Ooh. and you feel every second of it. This is the worst incarnation of the Justice League ever made. Until Justice League 2017. (laughs) There is no way anything will be made that is as bad as this ever again. Wow. It's not possible. Even fan films are better now. Oh, yeah, definitely. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Mm -hmm. Anyway, I've been Mr. Sunday Movies. I've been... Nick Mason, it's my real real name. You can find him at Twitter also. I'm at, at Wikipedia Brown on, on the Twitters. And I'm at what I said on Twitter. Yeah, nice. Thanks for listening, guys. See you guys, grab that jam. We'll see you uh, again. See, see you on the podcast. I'll see you in the street. It'll be fine. Okay, bye. <laughs>